Hey everyone and welcome to another TWM 12 video on Thunder. In this one we're going to be looking at some of the new vehicles being added in the dev server. And honestly, holy shit, I'm quite excited for this one actually. For once, well, some of the things I'm concerned about, but majority of the things I'm quite excited for. So first thing first, we'll have a look at Russia. So, at the minute they give us four of the new Russian vehicles. I think we all finally guessed what one it was. It was the SU-17 M2, the first swept wing aircraft added to the game. Honestly, I was hoping we would get a Panava Tornado. I was begging for a Panava Tornado, it's, well, an earlier flight model of it, but yeah, no, that didn't come. I was like crying out for a Panava Tornado. Like, them aircraft, they're beautiful looking. They're absolutely stunning. So, the SU 17 M2 has been added. It is a, it's a Casper in its finest. You get four R60s and six 500 kg bombs. Good top speed at 1600 miles per hour. Decent max altitude of 19,500. Not bad at all, and a really good turn time actually. Holy shit, the turn time on that is unreal. Uh, 27 seconds, holy fuck. That is a really good turn turn time with that there. Next thing we do get is another navy boat. Fuck's sake, Gaijin, stop adding navy ships. Fix the navy and stop adding ship to it, which is the PR 50 Russell Mac. Looks like another. Frigate, really? 300mm guns, 237s, 225s. Seems pretty standard. Torpedoes, mortars. It seems a pretty standard thing, really, to be honest with you. We are also getting another T28 with the KT gun. No idea why we're getting another T28. No fucking clue. Don't really see much difference in regards to the pen on it, but okay. We're getting a new BT-7, which, personally speaking, I think it plays a wee bit smoother, but what can you do? Next nation we're going to look at is USA, and this is what everyone's been waiting for, the M3A3, Bra M3A3 Bradley, with its new tow missiles, tow modifications. We get the new top-down attack tow, I believe, as part of it, potentially. Pretty sure. I, I, I remember seeing some of our top down attack to upgrade, but I don't see it in here unless I'm added it yet, which is odd. We're also getting, I believe, if possibly a new belt, APDS APDFS belt, M791. I genuinely thought that belt was in the game. Let me double check that. Genuinely thought that belt was for the original Bradley had that belt. M791. Yeah, no, M791, yeah, definitely M791. Just want to double check that. Yeah, no, the belts haven't changed. People were telling me that the belts were changed, but no, the definitely, it's the same belt with a slightly, slight BR increase, really. BGM 71A2. BGM 71A2 ATGM. Yeah, no, that's odd, unless I haven't implemented some of the features yet for. Next thing that they've added is Hellfires for the A7D, which is scary as fuck. They've got 1800mm penetration. Holy shit, 1830mm penetration. They're the highest penning ATGMs in the game now. So yeah, A7D is going to be an absolute class beast, even more than it is. Which, by the looks of it, it's ch they haven't changed its BR. 97. I genuinely thought it was going to go up to 10.0 because of that, but nope, not bad then. Germany has got a couple of new ones as well, so another navy one, another fucking Kaiser. I think it's like five or six battleships Germany now has. <laughs> fucking hilarious, no love for Italy yet. Then they get this abomination. This is an abomination in general. It is like an AMX molested a leopard. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's got a respectable 105mm cannon with 4 second reload. I'm guessing, yep, it's a mechanized ammo rack. That looks good, yep, 12 pieces. And it's penetration, let's see, oh god, it's a 12 piece, it's a 12 round mechanized rack with AP FSDS with 361mm pen, holy fuck. Though so you do have a heat round to start with, so when you're facing early composite armor, he's going to do jack shit. Pretty hard look at USSR. 
But Great Britain is what everyone is excited for. So first thing first is the Rattel 90. Which actually looks really enjoyable. It actually does look fun. I actually quite like the I actually look I, I really like the look of this here. So 90 mil heat launcher. It's a bit of a big chunky boy, but all the Rattels are. Next one up is pretty much Britain's AML 90. That it pretty much is an AML 90, it really is, except it's painted in sand camouflage. Same decent heat round, yeah, hundred percent. Now this is what I'm looking forward to. The Rattel 20mm. The reason why, it's 7.3 and it gets a 530mm pen Milan anti-tank missile. I don't know how to feel about this fighting 6.3s, I really don't, but I'm going to shut the fuck up and not complain. As Weedy Boy ATGM. The Roy Cat was also moved over to this tree as well, which is pretty good. They also have the implementation of the CA-35. An excellent piece of kit in regards to the aircraft. It's a Roy Cat with a Gepard gun pretty much. It really is. It is outstanding. And I believe it is... Yep, the M13. The M13 is the top round for So it's a pretty beefy SPA. I think most people will enjoy it. Next we get another Centurion. The Olfit or Elephant or Olifid. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I won't attempt to. So We've seen no composite armor yet on it. However, it does get a very good GT3 cannon, 105mm, which is 400mm heat FS and 337mm AF APF SDS, which isn't bad. It isn't bad at all with an 8 second reload, oh, 8.2 to be exact. Next after it, we get the CT3A, which is essentially is a missile truck. It genuinely is a missile truck, which is clicked on. Which is getting quite a decent penetration actually, 650 millimeters and up to 800 with a tandem. That's actually pretty decent. It really is. Essentially, it sacrifices the main gun for ATGM. Bad, not bad. Then we get the Roy Cat with the really odd looking but awesome fucking turret. The turret's awesome looking, it's odd but awesome. So modification wise. Night vision, so it gets DM23, 337, not bad, it's a DM23 round, is it a mechanized ammo rack? It is a 20 piece mechanized ammo rack with a 6.7 second reload rate, not bad at all. Now what depresses me is this isn't working, in reality if I remember correctly this is an active protection system in sorts. So what it does is, if a laser rangefinder ATGM is launched, I believe it launches a counter, a little smoke screen, to break the lock, which is pretty cool, however, I don't think it's added to the game. Then the final one is Oliphant Mark II, which is odd because I thought these were meant to be composite screens that was added to the Mark II. I genuinely thought they, they were that was meant to be composite armor. However, it seems they're not composite in game, it's just steel. So I think I believe I'm possibly wrong on that one, but I genuinely thought this was meant to be composite. Upper front plate, not bad. It's going, I think it'll be moved down in BR, personally speaking. As it may get DM63, but the protection is not really there on it. It's a squishy boy centurion. But I might be completely wrong, it may actually work out perfectly fine. But yeah, no, it gets night vision, the M63, starts off with the heat grind, then it goes up to the M11, which is quite poor. But other than that there, it's not bad, it really isn't bad. But we'll have to wait and see on that one, before. we'll actually have to take it out and play it before. I'll make my opinion on it, really. I don't think I missed anything else for Britain, did I? I think I did. Right, Whitby. So Britain's getting a new seal ship as well, the Whitby. It looks like a modified Blackpool. So a dual purpose main gun. Interesting. So it's 4.5 inch, 300 arms. Not bad. Interesting torpedo configuration. I'm not too... I think this ship's going to... I would think it's going to get... I think it's going to get slapped. I think that ship's going to get slapped. I really do. 
I'm not too sure what to say on it really, other than it looks like it's, it tries to be a jack of all trades, but it's a master of none, so it's not going to do too well. For Japan, Japan gets another light cruiser. It is Isuzu. I believe it's a Niagara class. Niagara slash Kumit. It's an interesting load art though. It is interesting load art. Speedo tubes. I never seen a Japanese cruiser with dual guns like this. I always thought they were single turrets, but I'll have to look more into that there. It looks like it's more an AA cruiser than anything, going by the mark to 25 sets ago. It's 11, 25 millimeters. I think this is more an AA cruiser. Next is this mini fucking yeet gun, again. Another yeet gun for Japan. Completely pointless armor. Loads of crew. And a yeet gun. 120mm HG Slinger, though you do have a sap. Schneider Kanat Schneider sap, 63mm pen, not bad. Or Schneider Kanat HG with 25, not at all. With a 13 second reload, so not bad. It's a, it's a yeet gun. I don't believe anything. I missed anything else for Japan being added. Nope, I didn't. So China, we've got the long awaited F5A4. Which, I'm really excited for this. I am very excited for this airplane. It is a nimble passport in my opinion. And I cannot wait for it. Like, the secondary weapons are unreal. There's so many capabilities. You get AM9Ps. And you can carry 18 250 pound bombs. Like, that is unreal. It really is. Or you get Mighty Marses. There's plenty of mix and match cash capabilities, capabilities for it. There really is. So many options for it. It's truly amazing. Or you can go down to pure strike loadout with four bull pops. So it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice lineup for the Chinese tech tree. Even though it's a Taiwanese plane. So China also gets its first ever true wheelie boy. The PTL 02. Not half bad looking. I believe this is meant to be a rifle gun, I believe, however it's got smooth war ammunition which is odd, I may be completely wrong, I may have adapted it over, but I believe this was meant to be smooth war, fired, but can't say too much, it seems a bit low on its pen, 220mm, but what can you do, I think you, I can't direct that with a very fast fire rate, no it doesn't, uh, re reload rate 10 seconds, it does have a, a mechanized rack, why is that round so? Why is it such a low pen round? It seems really weird. This that that it really seems weird that it's such a low pen round. PDFS will probably end up being your most common round for it, but it seems odd that it's such a low pen, been stabilized round. So that's weird. That's a weird one. Unless they got the values wrong, on it, I'm not going to say. I can't really say much on that. But they might have got the values wrong. On it. Italy. It's another new fucking cruiser. Another cruiser for Italy. The Etna. Triple 130. Sorry, three. Well, sorry. Three dual 135. I don't know why they keep adding warship then with our fucking fixing navy. I really don't. Doesn't look half bad for a cruiser, however, it's going to get slaughtered by battleships. Typical. Italy's also getting the snub nose Panzer III. Great frontal armor because of space armor, well not really space armor, only metric armor and it's early ideas of space armor creating an air pocket in here. But other than that there, it's going to be a nice wee addition to Italian tree that is filling out nicely. France? I don't believe France got anything new actually. I genuinely don't think France got anything new. Uh, let me go a quick through here. I believe they didn't. I usually add all the new stuff into the bottom tree to show everyone. Don't believe Right, nope, they didn't. So Sweden. Sweden's got two new things. This I'm very happy about getting. Finally, an IKV 91 a 91 105. I've been wanting this for god knows how long. Game Bread has, many people have, and I can't believe we finally got it. It's gonna be absolutely fucking amazing. It's gonna be god tier. You get M80 and Hatch. It's gonna be amazing. Five second reload rate, good speed, stabilizer. Oh, it's gonna be fucking beautiful. I think everyone's excited for this year one. I'm not the biggest fan of the look of the gun, but eh, I'm happy enough. I'm just glad we got the fucking vehicle in game finally. I'm just glad we did. I think everyone is in that aspect. And with that there, the end it. 
the last one we get is the Finnish Orca, which is pretty unique actually. It is pretty unique. It's got a 20mm of Corley in two of them and 7-7, seven, seven. so it's going to be a nice little bird. It's going to be a mean bird because it's got the 20 mils. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be looking forward to this. It's probably something I'm going to pick up as well. But overall, some of the main things, definitely the biggest ones for me that, are, that have came to this update is definitely the F5. 100%. This is my biggest, one of the biggest things for me that I'm glad they finally added. Can't wait to try it. The Rattel 20 is another thing I'm over them for. Baggy V91105 and the SU, whoops, it's clicked. The SU17M2 is another one I'm over excited for. I'm over the moon that they added these. It's nice to see we're starting to get into the flip wing era. We're beginning to see things going that way. However, I just hope that guys doing don't just add these and leave game breaking mechanics. Anyways, with that there everyone, hope you enjoyed the quick overview. I shall see you again in a later video that I will be releasing over the next week or so of in-game gameplay of them and what they're like. Thanks everyone for watching, please like and subscribe and I hope you enjoyed the video.